Hello, welcome to Pathagonia. This is Jay. Today we're going to talk about Bella's hair cysts and Bella's hairs in general. These are the colloquially known peach fuzz, the thin, small hairs that you see a lot during childhood. As you go through puberty, some of the Bella's hairs, through the effects of androgens, uh, become terminal hairs. Let's talk briefly about hair anatomy before we talk about Bella's hair cysts. So hair anatomy can be broken down generally into upper, middle, and lower. Upper consists of the infidibulum, where it's the upper portion right here, and then where the sebaceous glands enter the hair follicle and the erected pili enter the hair follicle known as the bulge. This portion is the middle portion and it's known as the isthmus. And then the lower portion can be divided into the supra bulbar, and then you see the bulb here, and this is the lower portion. So Bell's hair cysts are thought to arise because there's occlusion of the infundibular portion and that leads to dilation and eventual eruption. So how do I identify Bell's hairs? Um, so they're usually closer to the epithelium and when you look inside the cyst, uh, the cyst lining will generally have a granular layer and that's because uh, the infundibular portion of the hair follicle has a granular layer. Uh, this granular layer is not as prominent, but it's a little bit attenuated by the uh, dilation of the cyst. But uh, more importantly, to identify vellus hair cysts, you want to look for these very thin um, cross sections of vellus hairs. So some cases you won't have a lot, so you'll have to look a little bit more carefully, but this is a really great section where you can see a lot of these cross sections of the vellus hairs. So, um, thank you for watching this short video of Pathagonia. Um, we'll catch you next time. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. Bye.